bite from this bug can kill you, and I'm about to enter the bite zone with the assassin bug. Ah, yeah, it's getting me. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, right now, I am in the jungles of Borneo on the hunt for an assassin. This is a super creepy crawly insect that both flies and bites. And if I'm able to catch one today, I'm going to take a bite for myself to put it on the bite sting index. But there's a little catch. In addition to the pain I will experience from this bite, there's something a lot more dangerous than meets the eye. And as I'm going through it, I'm going to describe to you why you never want to be bitten by an assassin bug. We're gonna start flipping logs. We're gonna be looking on the leaves, looking on the ground, looking everywhere throughout this really dense jungle environment. There's all kinds of creepy crawlies in this rainforest. Let's search this whole area, guys. This looks really good. The assassin bug we're looking for is either gonna be orange, yellow, or red. Any of which are gonna be pretty easy to pick out of this environment because we have a lot of greens and a lot of browns. The colorful pop of these bugs is not something that blends in very well out here in Borneo. But there's a reason why these bugs don't care. We'll talk about that once we find one. This is a cloud forest. And the air is thin. It makes hiking a little more challenging than we're used to. Got one. Right here. Right here. Get the stick. Now it could fly. Guys, if it flies, I'm gonna spring into action, but I wanna see if you can get a shot of it. You see it on that stick? There it is. We got a red one. Red assassin bug. Uh, Andrew, can you hand me a jar? Sure. Thank you. Let's see if I can scoop it up before it flies away. Right, I'm gonna uh, put this down. Got it. Got an assassin bug. A bright red one too. All right, it's game on. Oh man, I can see it's dagger-like mouth already. Let's go set up the bike table. It's go time. Oh buddy, we got a big one today. I'm ready. At least as ready as I'm gonna be. Okay, the bite that I'm about to endure from this assassin bug, this fire red insect is not only gonna be something that really hurts, but is also a bite that's definitely going to send me to the hospital. You heard me right. After the shoot, I'm gonna have to seek medical attention for what I'm about to do. Before I tell you why, let's take a closer look at what I'm up against. Okay, there we go. Perhaps the first thing that we notice looking at this assassin bug is its coloration. Bright red, speckled with a black polka dot pattern. And then of course that easily identifiable elongated head with the proboscis sticking out of the face. And that appendage, it's what's going to inflict the pain in today's bite test. Before I tell you about why this insect is so dangerous, let's get a closer look at it so we can appreciate just how unusual this assassin bug is. Now it can fly, so we gotta keep an eye on it. But hopefully it just sits right there. This has gotta be one of the most aposomatic looking insects. Ooh, almost flew away there. This has gotta be one of the most aposomatic looking insects you could ever see. Oh. I got it, I got it. That was close. Almost got away. That was very close to uh, ending this bite test way too soon. Woo! Got my heart racing from that sprint, guys. Okay, well, let's, uh, I'm gonna hold it in the forceps for the rest of the presentation. How about that? That works, Mark. 
the assassin bugs here in Borneo can fly. And most assassin bugs can fly. And they range in sizes from very small insects that are called kissing bugs to very large. The largest assassin bug is called a wheel bug. And we have those in the United States. But they are not anywhere near as colorful as this one. There it is in a defensive position. Attack mode, ready for battle. Let's talk about why the bite from an assassin bug hurts so bad and why they bite in the first place. It's an assassin, it's a predator. It is out there actively hunting other insects and invertebrates to eat. And the way that it incapacitates and kills its prey is by injecting with that long proboscis a digestive saliva. You can actually see a bead of it at the end of that proboscis right now. That is a digestive enzyme that when enters the body of a victim will dissolve it and then it will use the proboscis like a straw to slurp up its insides. Oh, yeah. Okay, now let's talk about why this is such a dangerous bite for me to be taking. Some assassin bugs can spread a deadly disease called Chagas. Chagas is a condition caused by parasites, mainly found in the Americas, but has recently spread to both Asia and Australia. The reason Chagas is so deadly is because once infected, it typically goes unnoticed for many years until it silently leads to major health problems, including heart failure. The main reason I have not yet ranked assassin bug bites is because of the risk of this silent killer. But out here in Asia, it's safe enough to test this dreadful bite because the chances of me misidentifying the kissing bugs that spread it are almost zero because they do not live here. All that said, I could still get other nasty parasites from this bite, so I will be taking a full parasite blood test when I return to the United States, just to make sure I didn't catch a killer bug by accident. And on top of all of that, I have heard and read that the bite from these Bornean assassin bugs is extremely painful. So handling this insect can not only land you in a world of pain, it can land you in the hospital getting a blood test to make sure you don't get an incurable disease. And with that, I think it's time to rate the bite of the Bornean assassin bug. You guys ready? We are, Mark. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Not really. <laughs> not really. Uh, but enough people have been wanting to know about assassin bugs in the comments. I am willing to take a bite from this one to describe the pain and to officially rate it on our BSI. I'm gonna rank this bite, like always, on three different factors, intimidation, pain, and aftermath. All right, guys. I think I'm as ready as I'm ever gonna be. It's time to go flesh to proboscis with the Bornean assassin bug. Got cameras ready? We're ready, Mark. I'm gonna do it right here, on three. Oh, this is like stabbing yourself with a bug. I don't know why, but it's a lot easier mentally to get stung by a wasp or a bee. They kind of do the work for you. This is like, I'm looking at that dagger-like mouth part, and I'm literally having to pop it into my own skin. I really don't like needles. All right, ready? I'm Mark Benz, and I'm about to enter the bite zone with the assassin bug. On three, one, two, three. Dang it! Wow! Uh, I, I don't know if I got a good bite though. I gotta go again. I gotta go again. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, ah it's biting me. Yep, yeah, it's biting me. Ah, it's in, it's in, it's in. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, it's getting me. Oh, yeah. Ah. Okay, yeah, that hurts. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that is instant fire. Yeah. That is like a hot poker going into your skin. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Wow. And yeah, it just keeps burning. Mm. I can feel it. I can feel the venom. I can feel the venom doing damage under my skin. It feels so weird. It's just like like simmering under the skin. It almost feels like the blood is boiling around the bite. That was so weird. I've never had a more instant pain from what looked to be a gentle touch. Do you guys see the proboscis? It just kind of like went out like an elephant's trunk. It went like whoop, and then touched my skin almost like a feather. It didn't like spear down. Like I expected, it touched the skin with the softest landing. I didn't think it was even gonna bite at first, and then I, I like I felt something from its mouth go under the skin. I don't know if you saw it. When I was pulling it out, you could see its tongue. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh, dang it. It got me. And it doesn't look like much, but it sure hurts. Holy smokes. Okay, guys, well, Let's roll the rating on the Bornean Assassin Bug. Oh. On Intimidation, this Assassin Bug is a standout. With its bright red colors and size, it scores much higher than other Assassins you will find. On top of that, they do fly and bite without warning, making them a bug of most concern that you want to avoid at all costs. For that, it's a 7.8 out of 10. On Pain, the pop of searing sting was quickly followed by intense burning and welts. It was very much like a hot poker that went in without warning, a sensation that I will never forget and really ranks it up the ladder. So for that, I give it an 8.1 out of 10. For Aftermath, the swelling did flare up a lot after the bite, but in the days to follow, it turned into a more typical looking mosquito bite welt. However, this bite of course came with the big risk of parasites and the anxiety of that alone bumps the score up significantly. And then there's the blood test results, which I was very nervous to get, but once I had them, they luckily came back completely negative. So while a positive test would have easily made the aftermath a 10, this time I got away with a 7.3, giving this bright red assassin bug a total BSI score of a 7.7. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure to search for the Brave Wilderness channel on YouTube so you can join me and the crew on our upcoming adventures.